hey guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna do a review on Natasha Denona palette so I got this for Christmas early Christmas present because I really wanted it since it first came out and I got the purple purple what purple blue yeah the purple blue tones and they are just beautiful I've used this couple of times myself and clients and it's amazing balls it's just that because the pigment is so rich you get a lot of fallout so you need to learn how to work with it so you have to like really tap on it I mean not tap on it but press on it then press it on your eyelids and if you want to like blend with the colors you just have to pick up a little bit don't if you pick up a whole ton a whole chunk of it will come with it and it will just fall on your face so you have to learn how to work with it and this is like the best eyeshadow ever this is blows all my eyeshadow out of the water it blows my sugar pill makeup forever all the ones i think they were good they are good but this is like the best i've ever had i will have this forever because i cannot finish this colors like so amazing i like this one better than the greenish neutral one because those colors are just boring to me to be honest i like the gray part the neutral part is just boring to me i have a neutral palette already so well, I'll spend money on colorful stuff that I will use more often. <laughs> you guys know I love my colors and crazy makeup compared to neutrals. I still like my neutrals once in a while, but let's get to this palette. It is amazing. Amazing, amazing. I think it was $239. $239. If you break it down, it's cheaper each pan, but Let's talk about the actual price. So, is it too expensive for the palette? Yes, definitely expensive. If it was anything one fifty and under, hundred and fifty dollars and under, it is perfect for the price. Two hundred and thirty-four dollars, thirty-nine, two hundred and thirty-nine dollars is way too much, honey. Way too much. But it's never gonna go on sale. Well, so far it hasn't, and I've waited and waited. I'm just wondering, we got it on my VIP sale on Sephora. Yeah. So talking about Sephora I'm like $200 more to reach my goal for the year so I can be a VIP rouge for next year and it's forcing me to shop which I hate but I have to if I don't like it I can always return it which is the beauty part of Sephora so I'm gonna order the um, Pat McGrath Metamorphosis um, the whole collection and I'll bring a review for you guys next on those ones excited about that one but back to this palette it is amazing let me do a couple of swatches for you so you can see how amazing this is oh my gosh like crazy with that primer crazy I freaking love this I don't know what else to say I just love it love it and I love the, Natasha how she uses it on her models oh my gosh she is amazing like I want to do a inspired look on all the models she uses this palette on like all the looks was amazing so let's get into playing with this okay I don't know what look I'm going for. I'm just gonna dive in. So let's dive in together, okay? Hmm. So, what color to use? It's just oh, so amazing! Oh, so amazing! Hmm, this blue is shouting at me. It's so amazing. Also, it comes with the like names on it which I love because I usually lose the stuff and the good mirror and I love the um, packaging is really like for me which I like it's good on travel I love the whole thing the packaging the pigment just not the price as much <laughs> but I love everything about this I, I just love it so I already um 
I just use concealer on my eyes and um, powder it down with just a powder so let's go in with this color and okay so it fell and did not break <sighs> thank you Jesus anyways back to the tutorial I mean the demonstration back to the demonstration so I'm gonna pick this color again just like tapping on it and going in town you guys can see it's just crazy pigmented and just easy to blend I don't have to blend and blend and blend and blend unlike some shadows you know what I mean oh my gosh so pretty That's, you guys see that right you guys see yeah put in some more color because I want intense color so using another brush let's go into this beautiful one right here and Just right here I'm honestly just winging it because I just want you guys to see how it performs on my eyelids just oh, beautiful let me do my other eye wow and like you could do a makeup so quick because it's like so pigmented have the time to blend and blend or build up the color and it's just easy it just makes your life easy I love this so much when I got it I was screaming on I was like ah oh, it's have it you know when you dream about the palette you've wanted for so long for so long and you finally have it it's like oh, thank you Jesus ha <laughs> so you could what else can we play with let's play this is a beautiful dip purple one thing I do say yes these eyeshadows are dupable but it's not about the eyeshadow that I got it or the color is the quality oh my god just I love pulling this palette out to play with it it just makes me like gaga over it because it's so beautiful so pigmented the shiny parts the shiny metallic ones are just like glitter on your eyelids So going back with the other one just to help it blend here. Oof. The shadows are pretty amazing though. They're pretty amazing. No lie. The only thing I would change out of this palette is this dark color here because I have a black and like all my palettes I don't need another black black people always look for a palette where they can do a whole look out of you might as well have the same palette 10 times you might as well have 10 of the same palette because if you want all your palettes to be able to do a look it's gonna have a lot of neutrals and few accent colors that's pretty much all your palettes if you want to always have that one palette so just my thing is that just have one good um, neutral palette where you can always pull to do all your neutral and other palettes should have beautiful accents metallic colorful just gorgeous color you could accent with you know 
that are just unique you don't always have to use a palette that you can always do all your eyeshadows then it's like so for me it's like what's the point you can always do the same look always neutral in all your palettes just get one palette and the rest are beautiful accent colors okay <laughs> so it's just so beautiful I just still want to play with this what else can I do what else can I do I can get a smudger brush and play with this beautiful dark burgundy color right here. Woo! See how powdery it is? So you just have to like tap it and like be careful so you don't want to waste all that because it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. I'm gonna pick up this pink over here. I'm just mixing all the colors pretty much. I just want you guys to see how it looks when playing with it because it's just so beautiful. Okay, this is without primer and it's just a maze ball. So let's pick up that black. Oof. Gotta be careful. Gonna use it as my eyeliner. You can see I have a little fallout, but uh, it's a okay. So I just want you guys to see how it looks on my eyes, and I give this palette a nine. I would have given it a ten if it wasn't for the price. But if it's nails, it's a nine because it's so beautiful and marvelously beautiful and pigmented and I just love it. And I'm going to have it forever so the money is worth it, kind of. But it's worth it because I have it and I'm going to have it forever. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what else you want to If Let me know if you want me to do more tutorial looks on this palette this palette is marvelous and i'll do it let me know what you think about the palette would you get it would you not get it why won't you get it why will you get it like i really want to know other people's opinion this is my opinion and i love it and i'll catch you guys on my next video thank you like subscribe comment bye